upset by Sven Hanewald in victory last season. 23 years of age, this is the jump that could give him a 10th victory of the season. Where's he going? Oh, he's going! He's going! He's gone! Oh, he stood up! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! of opinion with regard to the telemark but my goodness gracious me look at this he had no good wind in the first round he made his own fortune and gave himself the platform from which to launch this second round attack and tied it in almost disbelief and Ludwig sights his mouth just locked open Adam Malish for Poland. Well, this is going to have to be a huge leap to get him up there and to put some pressure on those to follow because he only jumped 122 metres compared with the leaders 128 and a half. So Malish for Poland. Oh, that was smooth. What about the power there and the aggression? Oh, this is unbelievable. Oh, and he stood up. Unbelievable jump there from Malish. That is out of the stadium almost. That is a new hill record. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. It's the red and white of Poland who takes over from the red and white of Austria. And... Well, I don't know how they're going to measure this. This is over 140, and it, well, it's in, oh, and his hand touched there. Now, I wonder whether they spotted that. Apollonius tying up. 151 and a half metres, it's just come through. They've not given him the telemark, but he's not going to worry about this. He's got to lead 151 and a half metres. That is unbelievable. The 23-year-old flying pole has produced yet another. Apologies to talk. Well, Martin Schmidt's off. He's seen it, hasn't he? 151 metres and goodbye. So what can Marish do? He was in bed yesterday. He's recovering from a sore throat and some sore shins from jumping so far in Trondheim. And he's gone forever. And it goes on and on and on, and it's totally wonderful. The World Cup champion, he doesn't let him down. I can't tell you the exact distance. What I can tell you is he is number one. Absolutely enormous. 124 and a half metres. 134 points, and that is... 13 and a half points ahead of the whole field, which means that Adam Mowish, who won here in 1996, which was his first ever World Cup success, leads at the halfway stage in 2001 by some seven and a half metres. And sets up the possibility now for victory number 11 to equal the all-time number of victories in a single season achieved by Martin Schmidt last season when Martin won the title for a second time. Well, you can see the fan clubs for, fan clubs for Mawish. They've travelled through Scandinavia from Falun up to Trondheim. King Adam, well, King Adam may very soon be meeting King Harold. The winner of the opening competition, the defending World Cup champion, second to Yusulainen on Saturday afternoon. Those efforts together make sure that he wears the leader's bib. Fourteen victories last season. Fourteen victories in all, eleven last season, but of course he's got another one now from last week. And that's a, a four jumper, I should say. Don't get too excited. That's not Mauish. Trial jumper. Yusselin is still pumped up. But can he outjump Hannibal of Germany?
136 metres, Hannibal's. Oh, he can. Look at the height that he's got. Oh, that's enormous.